second. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running... You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. Oh, you on my turf now, boy. <clears throat> Son of a... Let's see what you got. Now, watch me. No fun unless you put up a fight, folks. Go, come on. This has to be her. Here. Now, let me see. Damn this day.
Easy. Look at what we stag! Dutchy's dog's body! I told you he'd show!
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to dis... Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, boy. Me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Oh, well, you quit it already. Oh, yeah? What is wrong with you? So, where was I? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, just let me off. I'll walk from here.
Easy boy, gotta be done. Easy, whoa.
no less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassi into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety, 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 shell of the boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. I'm starting to lose my patience with you. You shouldn't have come here. Goddamn lunatic. You think I'm playing here? Get off of him. That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Stop! Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! Sorry! You They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Stop that, you lunatic! For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! This is none of your damn ah. business! My God! Damn it, we got What is wrong with you? Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! You pop up out of nowhere? Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yep. I would do it just fine by myself! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Sorry, mister! What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Yeah. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Come on! Move! Move! Wait a minute! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's 
Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. Are we going then? You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Things good with you. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? I don't want to see any more trouble from you. You hear? Open your eyes. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and 
I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Sir. Hey, partner. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Evening, mister. <sighs> okay, just quickly. <clears throat> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Room's all yours. Head on up.
You'll you'll need to remove that mask. Thanks. Wouldn't be wearing that mask around here if I were you. Careful there. Get that mask off in my store now. Oh, okay then. All right then. Puts me a bit more at ease. All right then, let's have a look. Sure, I'll take another. Don't really need it, but why not? Now, let me just look in here. That should be good. Ah, oh, there you are. So, what are you aiming for today? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Now I've had my fair share of big nights in Smithfields, but a lot of fellers doing a can-can? That's a first.
I'm real excited to try this. You got the clap down. Okay, boy. Let's go. Morning, Bart. Hey, you think you're so great. Strutting around, nose in the air, holding hands with that dumb. Come on, kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. You wait, Lily Mae. Well, someday, I'll show you. Hey, what I do?
Come on. Yeah. Yep. Okay, boy. Uh. Yep. What? I just don't understand this at all. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Fukushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made. Well, ten dollars and it's yours. Well, I'm interested in the map, but... 
not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you're funny. <sighs> Listen, give me the map. I'm done asking. Oh, oh my! Here, take it. Just let me be. No! Mister! Yep. Yep. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. 
gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. You ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Just curious is all. No need to get rattled. Come on, boy. Yeah. Let's go, boy.
Да. Hey there. Free, you look like you need a new mirror. Watch where you go. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale. Bring me a ball. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Okay, boy. Let's go. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Guess I should head out there hunting again. Okay, then.
People really enjoy that. Done and done. Thank you. Greetings. Hey, move! You gave me ditch. Howdy, friend. Doesn't seem like I've seen you before. Welcome. You must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here. Now grab some items for your camp. Coffee, hunting supplies, biscuits, canned items. All along the perimeter of the shop. It's an old book. Careful with the pages. Fine item. Hmm. Sure. All right. Would you like anything else? Apparently those Blackwater robbers are still on the loose. Thank you, Thank you for your help. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! <laughs> you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? And when they do, we'll burn this kick town to the ground! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. This wall just needs some good forcing. You got any dynamite?
Hurry, Arthur, get me out of here! Ha! <laughs> Thank you, friend. Now give me a gun. Hey, you! Bye now! <laughs> Why the hell you do that? I'll tell you later. Come on! Hell is wrong with you. Out of my way! Follow me, Arthur! Like I said, I need to see some. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap! Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur.
Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. 
Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... Right. Blackwater, see how things... You know, Arthur, the government 
or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Okay, boy. Let's head up river and... Ah! Yep. Come on. Yep, yep. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. They're pulling into shore. All right, let's take a close so look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Kill him! God no damn mercy! It,
You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Yeah. Down there! Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me! Guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. You have other business to attend to? What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Let's go! Stay with them! You alright, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. The longest ride around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Pulling into shore. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been given that. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Oh, 
Okay, boy. Yep. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There. Look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across. <laughs> God, God, God damn it, Arthur! Do that! Oh!
You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Yep. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Why did you stop? Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. Move it. Let's go. joined us. So, you were saying? He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. <laughs> Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention.
Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's taking a turn. Where is she? A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on, let's get up there. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. You got there, eh? Very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Mm -hmm. Is he alive still? Mm -hmm. Come on, focus. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Ah! Stay the hell back! Where did these sons of bitches come from? Ah! Damn! Far. The camp's up this way. Come on. 
Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these equal fools. Kill him. A damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Still time. Stop right there. Let's get Sean. Come on, let's get Sean and get out of here. doing Cool me down come on Arthur <laughs> you know you're a lot less ugly from that other angle Arthur come on <laughs> do I get a hug Arthur a warm embrace for a lost brother now found you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, we...
Time's Stay wasted. Ready to Shoot, Get boys. to work. This will show the boys at the Geographical Society. Partner. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture... A grumpy housefrau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Thank you. 
Got your bag. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. Easy, boy. Gotta be done. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go, boy. Get here. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Really? Certainly, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. How's that dead looking now? If you if you want the money, you'll have to wait. Why did it have to come to this, huh? I wouldn't paying up have been a little easier. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't...
Miss Grimshaw. Hey there. 